I don't know if I want, them, I want them to carry up this way. We might want them to carry back down the other way. I don't know. Let's see where this thing is. There it is. <laughs> That's so great. Oh, really? Don't do that. Oh my goodness, Pikmin, why? They fell down. I'll just call them back and stuff. I don't need that. Honestly. Just want to be careful I'm not jumping directly into the water. But yeah, that is all of the Pikmin 4 demo that is available. Everything that we could have done, we have done now. Hopefully they... I don't know. I don't know. I just want multiplayer. It's not looking like it's going to happen. Two thousand sparkling collected. That's pretty good. We've collected a whole lot of sparkling. Oh, it's uh, running out of time. I was trying to get that strawberry back, the sunseed berry, but I don't think I have enough time for it. Unfortunately, even if I could. Barely had enough time for that. But there we go. That's good. That's very satisfying to see. Nine rescues. They have leaves growing out of their head. So odd. There is uh, poisonous oxygen on this planet. At, in this planet's atmosphere, they shouldn't be able to survive without their helmet. Something very strange is going on here. So I forgot to look at some of these names of things. Also, Nuggets is just great. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's Gold Nuggets, but still. Talisman of Life, Crane. Skin of the Phoenix. Memory Fragment, top left. Talisman of the Mo Life, Talisman of Life, Moon. Fire Breathing Feast, like it was in Pikmin 3. Mysterious Carriage. Good one. Uh, satellite Shield. Snack Bean. <laughs> Snack Bean! Oh my goodness. Peanuts the snack beans. I'm doing that now. I'm calling them that. But there we go. Should we discuss the castaway of leaves growing out of the head? This has to be what Dingo was talking about when he told us about the leaflings. That's right. The castaway could be our pilot. It'd be easier to know if, uh, for sure, if not for the leaves. I can't make out any features on, of Bernard at all. Maybe we'll get some more information after they've examined... They're examined by our doctor. If our doctor isn't leafified. But first we need to find him. Until then, we'll let this castaway get some rest. Rescue mission, day seven. We can't do it this day, but we have... Stuff we can do, I guess. I don't know. We can check what's available now. Since we have two, over, over 2,000 sparklium. Any updates on the castaways? What's their current condition? Yeah. Nothing new to report. They're still asleep. And still haven't responded to any of our attempts to wake them up. The oddest thing is, they don't seem to have a helmet to breathe. We have no idea how that's possible. Huh. They need to be examined by a doctor ASAP. To make that happen. We'll need you two to locate the remaining rescue officers and collect more and more treasure. Understood? Good. I hereby call this meeting's uh, morning strategy meeting session to a close. Officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. Oh, let's see what we want to upgrade. I'm probably going to just upgrade buff. 
probably. Oh, Although it might be good to upgrade heal because of uh, some of the things we can run into, like the the challenges that we have to face within time limits. But I'm going to learn buff for now just to make things move faster. Also, there might be more abilities that we unlock at some, like, that we get at some point that we can unlock. Probably, based on how big this game could be. Keep up the good work, and remember, no slacking. Ah, uh, okay, let's see the lab. Kihi! Headlamp! Oh no. Oh no, there's gonna be dark places? If your sight lines are well lit, you can avoid danger before it finds you. And so I introduce you to this lamp. I'm gonna definitely get it to get that. Also, I never used the drone thing, but that's okay. Nice blast. That's all that, I guess. There's probably a limit to what stuff we can get in the demo. Hmm. Oh, hey. Piclopedia, okay. My name's Delmo. The moment I heard about the, the creatures on the, of this planet, I knew I had to come learn more about them. I dream of complete comp compiling everything we learn about the e ecology of each fierce little darling here into some kind of field guide. So you can view the Piclopedia. If I hadn't got stranded, imagine how many cute little critters I would have encountered by now. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them and I haven't laid eyes on a single one. Wait, you must have encountered all kinds of creatures on your explorations. Please, tell me everything about them. Naturally, I'll prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn about more of these sweet fer fer feral muffins? 21 out of 25. Ah. Uh, oh, that's the species creatures. There's probably more than that, but that's how many we've found. So in here, we can actually take a look at what these, uh, and like these creatures do. We can also uh, find out what they, how they react to other things. If we throw item with A, we can throw pick pick carrots. We can zap them. We can freeze them. We can fire them. We can just find out all the things that happen to them, basically. And it shows all the ones that we've encountered so far. So I should actually try and do something with this one, maybe. Freeze. Well, I can imagine freeze would be good against this. Maybe. Well, so we can just zap them repeatedly, maybe. If we wanted to. But yeah, we can do that at any time. Once we're at the morning site, you know. How could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready to take another look. Oh, I, probably because I've taken a few out. But anyway, I think that's everything we can do. Hang on, hold my hold my horses. Hold them for me because I'm getting too ahead of myself. There might be some more text here. Okay, Tenderfoot, let's see what you're made of, eh? Don't give me that look. You can handle some extra credit work. Check out every inch of this planet until you've explored area each area 100%. Okay, investigate one area 100%. Well, I can't. I couldn't do that in time, sadly. I can't go back to the site until the full game releases. But that is the thing we're going to take care of. It's been intense, but I can't just give up uh, completely. I still want to leave this planet more flowery than it was before I, from before when I got here. I don't know. That's where you come in. You got to help me bloom a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. Let's fill this world with blossoms. What's in it for you? Well, do this for me, and I'll give you my glorious stone collection. What do you say? We got a deal? Sure. I have to bloom those flowers outside of stuff, apparently. Uh, if I could bring pigment out, I could bloom them here. But it's always going to bring out the the bloomed pigment first. I mean, that's still a fair bit of stuff. And I can actually use multiplayer the co-op to flower some stuff, but I still don't think that's going to be enough. Even if I try. So I'm probably going to... I probably should just leave it that there, so... Hey, it's me again. Uh, just wanted to point out, because I didn't actually go into one of the dungeons, I haven't got everything in again, that if you go back to a... No, have a, hang on. Let me do this on an actual thing. Not that one. If you go back to a dungeon that you've already completed, I wanted to check, because it looks like you can actually enter from the sub-level that you want to go to. 
quite possibly. Which means that if you have not got over everything on that floor, you can go back to it with ease, basically. Or if you have a tunnel that goes to another area and you accidentally make, didn't make the shortcut, you can also probably do that as well to get to the end quicker. Which is probably quite helpful. It's just like that, we're on this second floor here. I also need to point out that the first time uh, we came here, we pressed that switch over there to allow Ochi to get across here to the other side so we can actually get break those pots and get the the what, what, what the person we lost, or lost person, the castaway. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I didn't realize that originally. But I just wanted to point that, that out that that's what the, that was there for. To hit that switch to lower the gate here. There's another thing I want to try out. I also want to try and leave all my Pikmin here or something. Maybe. Or well, probably not here. I don't know if Ochi can get up to ledges on his own or not. So why did you get stuck? That's weird. That's a very Pikmin 1 thing to happen. Uh, but let me leave this here and disband. Might try and take these Pikmin a distance or something. I don't know. But I just want to check how Ochi's Pikmin gathering skills go. Basically. Disband. Can I actually command from here? Uh, gather Pikmin. It's gathering those ones. Gathering those ones. But will he gather the other ones? Because if this is just like gather all the Pikmin that are out in the field that are on their own, that's actually probably extremely helpful, which looks like it is, because he's going to get those ones as well. There we go. That's so cool. So that's very helpful. Uh, let me also just quickly show you the, the drone as well, and possibly the Ultra Spicy Spray, because we haven't tried that yet. Uh, so Ultra Spicy Spray, if we use that, powers up our Pikmin for a short amount of time. And actually probably flowers them as well. Which, look at that, it's like the Pikmin got a huge energy boost. Well, apparently Ochi gets one as well. That's interesting. He's high. Ochi got all amped up too. Just how potent is this stuff? The Pikmin and Ochi are, are all extremely fired up right now. Seems like the Ultra Spicy Spray has a powerful, energizing effect on them. Their movements are faster, and they're more efficient at pretty much everything. So now if we wanted to destroy these things, it's going to probably destroy super fast. And also get it carried back pretty fast as well. Pretty fast. Not extremely fast, but look how fast that they move. So, so fast. Let me just quickly see how quickly we can run on this. I feel like this is slightly faster, but I'm not entirely sure. It's hard to judge at a glance. But this lasts a fair bit of time, apparently, as it's still going. But I think it should also flower Pikmin. I can't verify that, though, because I didn't have any leaf Pikmin, as far as I could tell. Also, even if you do caves in a different order, you might still get the, um, the castaways in the same order. Because I did a different cave on this file. And I still got the same castaway out of it, so... That I'd normally get in the other cave. But anyway, I'm back here again, because I want to try, on a new file, to spend some, uh, what's it called, pup drive. We only need two pup drive for this. But, I'd like to get the blue onion, because we can do that. Given the right circumstances, we can reach it. So... What I want to do, is I want to increase Ochi's buff. Which increases the amount of how much strength he has. So, going to level 2, which only requires one pup drive, makes him as strong as 5 Pikmin instead of 3. Learning pup, uh, buff level 3 makes him as strong as 10 Pikmin. Only requires one pup drive again. That's all we need, so. Well, 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 you mastered buff. I knew you could do it, Ochi. That means I'm giving you permission to learn an even more powerful skill, super buff. Super buff makes Ochi as strong as 20 Pikmin. Level 2 makes him as strong as 30 Pikmin. 
And level 3 makes him as strong as 100 Pikmin. Also, that level looks really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like when we actually go there. But that's all the pup drive we need. Just maxing out his buff. Now, let's go back to the exploration area. Something else I should probably point out is that if you have no Pikmin in your party, and you try to throw by pressing A, your character will actually do a little punch motion, and that will actually hurt things. So you can actually do damage, a little, like a tiny bit of damage to things. But have, given that I've played several files now, uh, in the Borough Beginnings, you can actually defeat those enemies by punching them as well. So you can make it go by, by a little bit faster, not a lot, but a little bit faster. And it could be helpful in later points in the game where you need to just fight something, basically. But anyway, let's get the blue onion. So to start off, let's get out 20 Ice Pikmin, specifically. The most Pikmin you need for this are at least 30 Ice Pikmin. It might be easy with 40, just so you don't have to worry about Pikmin falling into the water. But as long as you get this first step done with this, these 20 Ice Pikmin, it should be fine. So, we need to head up all this way, which might take me a little bit. We need to get up all this way, just so we can throw them over this wall and get the onion out. Then just like that, it should dig itself out and get itself into position for step two. So let's head back to the base and get out another 10 Ice Pikmin. Just enough to have 30, which is the amount we need to freeze the water. Okay, there we go. Let me dismiss Ochi so he doesn't get into the water and have trouble like we had before. Those Pikmin are stuck, but now let's call them down into the water. Disband them. Freeze the water. Now we can only get 10 more Pikmin out, but we also have Ochi here to count as an extra 10, which is what we need. So let's do that. It's perfect. We can jump up and we can get the onion. Just like that. If I had only thought it through a little bit more when I was actually doing it before, so that's a shame. Oh well. Also, Ochi, you just messed that up. Oh well. Get it. There we go. Just like that, the blue onion. I don't know what's going to happen when I go back to the full, full my main file in the full game, but I guess we'll find out. But for now, I'm going to put these ice pickers away so I can actually build up some blues. The more onions we fuse together, the more types of Pikmin it can pro pro propagate. That's good news for us. So there we go. We have blue Pikmin now. Just let me put away my Pikmin. What's left of them? And we can only have three types of Pikmin out at a time, which is strange and very limited. But it's probably going to be upgradable in the future when we get more onion stuff. What? Why can't we call these? Why can't these Pikmin come out? Ah, according to the voyage log, only three types of Pikmin can be out on the surface at any given time. Doesn't say anything about, um, in caves, but on the surface anyway. They already have developed a lot of protective traits to keep their species from getting totally wiped out. And again, it might get upgraded. But anyway, let's get a blue. Please. <laughs> Blue Pikmin. We haven't seen Pikmin like these before. I wonder if Captain Olmar ever encountered anything like them. <coughs> the Blue Pikmin. At a glance, the Blue Pikmin appear to have a mouth like gills and are notably able to function even underwater. Thanks to their water resistance and swimming talents, I can now transport things found in the water. Signed, Captain Olimar. So there we go. 
like it says, we can they can breathe underwater because they have a mouth like gills. Oh, but oh, she can't. I really don't like that he just does that, but it's just because he's following me. But yeah, let's spend some time building up the population of them. I think I can probably get Ochi to help me out with that. As long as I'm not walking him in directly into the death of the waters. It's just nice to finally have the blue Pikmin. There's something about it. Every time, every Pikmin game, there's something about getting blue Pikmin that just feels good. And of course these pellet posies now have blue on their rotation as well. It seems to only be the ones that are out of the onion, which is quite interesting to me. That's... that that's how it is, so... But I'm going to try and build up this pick, uh, Pikmin population as much as I can before the end of the day. And then I'll have a look at how, much, how, many, how many blues I can have, basically. I also want to show you how you get... Um, what's it called? more of the ultra spicy spray because that's something else we can collect especially now that we have the blue pigment to help us out with that and you can see that pellet posy over there with the 10 pellet that i really want let's pluck all these i really just need to tell ochi to just stay <laughs> there we go so, if we go over here, this is probably an ideal way to do this for the moment. We want to build that, because that way we can get up there. And there are two ultra spicy plants up there, with, which we can get berries from. The more Pikmin that we have, the better for collecting them as well. So, if I can increase my numbers, that'll be good, but I don't know if I can really do that at the moment. Obviously there are water enemies that I can also get back to the onion as well. Okay, so they're going to build that. We can get up there. It's important to get this out done because this will allow us to actually get them in a bit of a loop to actually keep stuff going. Just need to be careful of this fiery blowhog. Do that bad, but it's okay. If they get on five, call them back quickly. That's something we haven't encountered yet because we haven't had that problem. God, Pikmin's on fire! Quick, put it out with B. go. I'm very tempted to get that back, and I might as well. I'll get the berries in a second. We have the rest of the day still, so. We can also get these uh, rocks that we've seen in this water for a while that we could not collect. So, if we go over here to this berry plant, I don't know what it's actually called. We can throw them on there, and they'll climb up, and then they'll start bashing at it. Until each berry drops off one at a time, they'll collect the berries, take them back to base, and come back to the bush to keep going again. It's basically how it, how it goes. We do need to keep an eye on them though, because they will go back and forth all the time. Which is a shame that we don't have any way to really do that well at the moment. We can have Ochi watch them, but not in this scenario. We can have the cap like we can have our captain watch them while Ochi's doing other stuff. But yeah, we need to be- we just need to be careful about it. The more Pikmin we have on a uh, plant at a time, the faster it will go as well. They grew back throughout the day, but they do take their time, so... It's probably about the time that the Pikmin have to walk back to it, maybe? No, they still haven't grown back yet. Oh well. There's also this other one up here that I'd like to get as well, so... Get that done. We've got 20 Pikmin on that, so that should go by very quickly. 
Like, very quickly. Just 20 is enough, so. There we go. We've got that. There on that. And we've got a loop. That's gonna keep getting us more stuff. Also, when did the Pikmin go after that enemy? They just did that on their own, I guess. Which, I guess, is good. Might be good to keep, keep increasing my blues. But with that, we're about to reach 10 berries. Wow! We've collected quite a lot of these red berries now. Which gives us an ultra spicy spray. After thorough analysis, it appears that these berries contain large amounts of ultra spicy essence. I suggest you squeeze 10 of them and put the resulting extract into your pack. You never know when you'll need it. Now I can also test out my theory if the ultra spicy spray also flowers a Pikmin, which it does. So the more Pikmin in your party, the better when you use it. So as we play on, we probably want to get a lot of ultra spicy spray. We're going to want so much ultra spicy spray. So even if you don't have anything in the area to do, you can just farm ultra spicy spray. Which is probably good. This seems like the most ideal spot for it. So far. Looks like we've reached over 40 blue Pikmin now. We have 43. Very nice. We have 209 Pikmin now. At least on this file, but you know what I mean. It's still cool to see. I'm still gonna have to collect the blue onion on my other file. If I can. <laughs> but well, I guess I'll, they'll find out later on when the game releases. Just look at that. The primary Pikmin. The onion is beautiful. I just have to say that. I love, I love the onion in Pikmin 3, but I also love the onion in Pikmin 4. I like them both for different reasons. This just Pikmin just keeps being good. <laughs> That's interesting. So you press X in it. What was your pigment? Okay. What is your pigment to charge? Ah, yes, the power of science has nothing to scoff at. It makes all things possible. There are so many different conversation types. I'm sure. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them all or not. Or if it just does them over time or something. See, if you charge the change the frequency like this, you can make anyone charge. Bye. Let me show you. Oh, what? What's happening? My body! It's like it's moving all by myself! Itself! Stop! Stop that right now! What do you think you're doing, Russ? Kee! <laughs> I was just showing you how to use it in case of an emergency. I will do everything in my power to make sure that emergency never occurs. Never ever occurs. Of course, right as I ended the recording, there's another thing here. From the lab. I, don't, I didn't do anything that day other than get the blue onion. But there is a new thing here, which I don't think we've got before, or maybe we did. There's the Scorch Guard. For both uh, Captains and Ochi. I can't remember if we've seen this before, maybe we did, but I, mean, I, can't, I can't remember, so. But that is here now, we can get that. It's not the Elemental Guard or whatever it is from before, so. It is different. Uh, but anyway, let me also try... The drone, the survey drone, because this is actually quite a helpful thing to use because we can actually go up and down and look around. And we can just see a lot of things everywhere, even things that we uh, haven't got yet, but we can collect. And it shows us how many Pikmin we need for collection, collecting that. And I didn't actually realize that until now, but it's super helpful. You can see different caves. Like this is an area I haven't explored yet, technically, and I'm able to just look around, which is quite nice. 
I don't know how to control the camera, like, better. Because it seems to automatically look around. Like, it, it's, its angle seems to be automatically set based on where you're looking from. But it's, it's really going to be helpful by the looks of it. We can also collect these spicy berries here, which will get us more spicy spray. I think I mentioned that. I just wanted to clarify that that's a thing we can do. Uh, but also... I think that's everything here I want to look at, quickly. We can turn this, the display off if we wanted to. But we can also place pins also, as well. And unpin them as well. Uh, but anyway, I think I'm done. Oh, that's plus, right. So we can actually see where that is on the map as well. I'm done scouting here. Let me also just quickly... Return to the 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 safe the kit the what's it called I don't know the base. Let me just return to the like chip. Return to the safe place uh, because there's some interesting area here that we have haven't really looked at, but I think is interesting basically. So this all uh, so this is ultra spicy nectar with a color like that. It even looks spicy. It is the main ingredient in Ultra Spicy Spray, after all. Want to try a lick? No. Hmm. Oh, why not? If only for quality control purposes. I wouldn't want to provide my rescue officers with a faulty product. Us. Now let's give it a try. Huh. Um. Huh, huh, hot! What? Guess it's pretty spicy. I'm glad I wasn't the one who licked it. But looks like look how fast you're moving. Just think of <laughs> with this, you could get twice the amount of work done in half the time. Uh, p perhaps, but I think the, the investigating this nectar directly poses some significant risks. Especially at the end of the day. Now, as another thing, in this area, uh, we can actually jump back to the areas we've been to before, which allows us to actually revisit the dungeon that we were in last time. I don't think there's anything important in there. And there's not really anything important up here either, which is surprising because I feel like the, where we landed would be a good spot to actually hide some stuff. But we can also get up here to where the, sh the other treasure was before. And it's strange that there's nothing else here either. But it's just a cool thing that I wanted to show. Uh, but let me actually look at the drone now. Just look around a bit. You can see over here and stuff. You can't jump onto these walls, but you can almost can, kind of. Uh, but something that I think is very important to point out is down here, behind this wall, is the crashed SS Dolphin, Captain Olimar's ship. Obviously that means a lot of stuff, but I don't know how I didn't see it from over here before. You can definitely see it from the side of the wall. There's a huge area here that seems like it's going to be important at some point, maybe? Or maybe it's just background, possibly, which is also... That sounds ununderstandable. But yeah, we can actually see the SS Dolphin from here. And with that interesting note, that is actually it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you when the, the full game releases so we can find out what happened.